Okay, my name is Demetrius, and uh, I've been in the IT industry for about 14 years with a five-year break um, when the bottom fell out of the internet. Um, back in the, I came in in the 90s, back with Windows 3.1 and DOS, um, and I've been working with Windows ever since it's origin, since it was originated. Um, I started out working at a place called LANOP as a network administrator. It was actually a school for certification training, and that's why I obtained where I obtained my Nobel certification for free, because basically just all I had to do was help out around the school, and I, I got the, um, all the classes and things for free. I just had to pay for my test. Um, so after that, I worked with um, companies such as SBC um, doing DSL support in the early 2000s. Um, leaving there, I went to a company, DQ Technologies, as their um, IT manager. And it was there that I got my um, first experience as a um, systems engineer, because basically I built that place from scratch. They just had some PCs and some computers and a server and a closet, and they didn't know what to do with it. So I, I took that whole task on and handled it. Um, after leaving there, that's when the bottom fell out of the internet. I was laid off from there, and so just to keep working, I went to work for a wireless cellular company, Verizon Wireless, for five years. Um, after leaving there in 2006, I believe, 2009, 2009, I left Verizon Wireless. And um, there I was kind of at a crossroads as to what to do, uh, whether to go back in IT or find something else to do, but I'm a techie, so that's all I know. Um, then I came across this website of this place called Landwind Professional. And it sounded too good to be true. I actually I actually ignored it for like three months. And then um, my curiosity got the best of me. So I decided to give it a shot. And um, got into the Landwind program. Um, gotta say, it, it was the most astounding thing I, I'd come across at, at that time. The, the, the type of training that um, Landwin does is really not, it's definitely not for the faint of heart. Um, you really got to have a knack for it and got to have a stick to it attitude to be successful. So I, I did that. Um, I joined Landwin in 2010. Uh, got my CCNA February of 2011. Um, got my other three CCNAs over a period of time. Um, I, have, I now have all of them and I'm working for my CCMP. Um, and basically, during that time I was looking for jobs, I, I worked for a company, Fusion Storm, back in September, shortly after getting, shortly after getting my CCNA. I, I found work um, with a company called, uh, IT solutions provider called Fusion Storm out of Sacramento, and I worked there for eight months um, while working toward my, my, started on my CCNP certification. Um, I worked there. Left there in September, um, came back to Landwind a second time for the administration camp. And it was then that I started working on my wireless certification and voice, of which I now have both of them. And I am now employed with a company, uh, Creation Technologies, and I am the network administrator for their infrastructure. Wow, that's... That is a, a crazy track. That's awesome. So tell me, you said a couple of things in there that really uh, caught my interest. You said that you came across the Lamwin Professional website, ignored it for like three months, right? Because <laughs> it sounded too good to be true. Um, and then the curiosity got you. So I guess my question in there is, um, what exactly about it seemed too good to be true? And once your curiosity got the best of you, what, what made you decide to go for it? The way the program is set up, back then, a couple of years ago, you know, I was looking at just um, programs like ITT Tech, Healed, just giving them a thought of maybe um, going that route again, but the financial cost was just something I wasn't in the position to bear at the time. Um, and the program that Land Land was offering about that your, basically your reimbursement to the program um, comes from once you get employed, then a portion of your earnings goes toward paying them back. Now that comes out with a couple of benefits. Number one, it was no interest. It was only the cost of the program itself. And number two, it was um, 
It was no pressure. I mean, yeah, they do want to pay you back, but it wouldn't be like a student loan where you got this interest accumulating over the months while you're paying for it, and then if you miss a payment, then all of a sudden they're, they're you know, your phone's ringing off the hook. Um, so that was that part of it. Then the second part, the second question, um, what made me decide to go for it was once I read the way the program was laid out and the what you could obtain, um, I was I was thoroughly interested because when I compared it to other programs, um, even Hill and, and, and DeVry and all these guys, if the average person, it takes anywhere from six months to a year to get a CCNA. Um, going through programs such as Healed, it was like a year and a half. Um, so anyway, it, it'd be a length of a time just to get a CCNA. I got my CCNA in four months with Landware Professional. So um, I didn't believe it until I tried it. And then when I tried it, I was astounded. <laughs> That's interesting because one of my next questions that I usually ask people is, if you've looked into training in other places, in your opinion, how does the training at Land One Professional differ in comparison and, you know, positive or negatively? <laughs> you kind of touched a little bit on that. Uh, to go a little further, how it differs, it differs in the fact that it's focused, it's very um, geared toward the real world work environment. Um, even if you were to study, if you were to buy a Cisco Plus book, and read that book in the morning. It would take you a while to read that book because it gets so granular and detailed. And a lot of trainings get granular and detailed with a lot of stuff that you wouldn't necessarily ever use on a day-to-day -day basis on a job. Um, what Landware Professional does is they focus in mainly on the core skills you would need on a day-to-day -day basis in a work environment. Um, and the learning pace is, is something interesting. I found repetitiveness works. Land Wan takes repetitiveness to a whole other level. And But the way they do it, I didn't understand it at first when I first started the trial program for the two weeks. I was wondering, why am I constantly having to repeat the same commands over and over again? Well, I found out that um, after that two weeks, I literally had to memorize. When it came to doing something, I didn't even have to look at the paper. It just came to my mind just like that. So it was the same thing for um, prepping for the certification. Um, they advise that you practice your test till you get 100%. And I think on average, I would do, so it, it, it meant spending a lot of time. You would have to spend about an eight hour day, but I was astounded that when I was in camp, um, individuals took a certification after only studying for two days and passed. And that was, that really blew me away. I'm still astounded by it, but it, it, it's a program that works. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, in what ways, I mean, I love this because your, your answers just lead into all the questions that I have. Uh, in what ways did the training or, or the programs at Landwind Professional exceed your expectations? That could be, you know, both the training and any of the other components that maybe you experienced. Well, um, I, I think especially when it comes to um, being a certified a Cisco um, network associate or, or professional or engineer or whatever the case may be, once again, in the in the place where it takes an, another person, you can literally hear, honestly, you can honestly say, and I do say, after taking my certification, when I put experience, Cisco experience, I put two years, simply because any person going through land when that program is going to give you equivalent to what a two to five year person has in experience within two or three months or however long the camp may be for. Wow, that's awesome. In your opinion, what were the most beneficial ways that coming through the program at Landwind Professional has helped you become placed in the current position that you're at right now? Oh, you know, one of the things I, I really, <laughs> Eric, Eric is, is, is an interesting guy. Um, he came up with a, a, a concept that really works. But one of the things I really appreciate and, and got a lot of benefit from was the uh, career placement. And the career now, so this can be clear for your future candidates, no, Landwind does not hold your hand right to an employer and say, here's one of our guys, hire them. 
it doesn't work like that. But what they do do is give you the tools and training to help you be successful and not only looking for a job, but on an interview. Um, and I really like the career uh, part of it that, that Eric does in the program where he spend, spends like three or four hours just telling you about the job market and how things work and um, how different aspects of information technology work, what to say and not to say on an interview. And most of all, the mock interview, those are really fun. And I get a lot, I got a lot from watching myself. <laughs> awesome. Um, so tell me a little bit about your position at Creation uh, Technologies. I know you said that you're a system admin. Can you tell me what does uh, a typical day look like for you and your company, uh, just for people who are you know, watching this interview later on? What do you do? And <laughs> tell us about it. You know, I just got through doing my 101 with my, my, my manager. Uh, system admin, that's the title they give us, but basically I am more of the, I'm an admin slash project manager, actually. Um, so my typical day today, um, well today what did I do? I fixed a couple computers, one had a bad power supply, um, fixed a couple of applications that um, weren't working correctly for a couple of the users. Um, our main, one of our main jobs here is taking care of um, the employees. There's 200 employees and basically what we do is make sure that their machines are working when and have the needed applications in order for them to perform their job. So what happened is that I will get a machine, like I have a machine over here right now that is needed on the production floor. So I have to literally install all the programs for it, um, put it in Active Directory, create the, um, uh, there's a database process that I have to go through for one of the programs in SQL, um, set up all the printers that it will be using on the network and then take it on the floor and set up the user's email um, and make sure, I think there's a couple other things that I do. There's about several things we do just for the user. Um, one of the things I was brought on board for, as a matter of fact, I'm in Microsoft Project right now, trying to get all my projects down. Um, I have to set up a project for documenting and, and, and attaining, and documenting access accesses oh, basically just documenting the whole place so basically what I'm going to do is put together a project for me and my co-worker to come in one weekend we have to tag every single computer map out the entire building and put together basically a flow chart of where every single device is and then later on we have to take that information you know every device to every user so, so that was the admin side then the network side of it is I got a switch closet where I have to go in and I wish I could send you a picture of the cables. So I have to go in and clean that up and then we have to trace all of those cables to every PC so that if something breaks we know how to trace it and go right in there and fix it. The GM talked to me yesterday and he wants me to log and he wants me to catalog all of the VPNs for every person who has a laptop so we can determine who needs one and who doesn't. Um, so I have to go into our ASA firewall and pull the logs for that and then we'll look through those and determine who's really logging in from home and if it's necessary for them to have a laptop. I am also in charge of our communications, or in other words, our wireless. We have a Verizon wireless account of 78 lines, which has been turned over to me to evaluate and determine. Um, uh, right now, I'm looking into finding us a better plan. We just spent a big chunk of money that I think we could save a lot of money on. And I also handle the bill for our, our internet access connection. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just waiting. I'm like, wow. So they keep you busy. That's 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 why they pay you the big bucks, right? Can you tell me as far as for, for you and your classmates, what were may, maybe some of the biggest stumbling blocks to becoming hired um, in the past? And how did Land One Professional maybe help either you or your classmates overcome those obstacles? Well, I think, um, I, I know for me, it, it, it was a struggle for a while. And we, when I came back to camp, we, we, we sat down and focused on what may have been some of my issues. And we found that 
one of the things is, is very is listening to the question being asked and not over answering it. Um, a lot of times, um, I think Jonathan mentioned that a lot of times when you answer a question, you may not be telling them, you may be giving them more than what they want to know, and you may be telling them what you don't know. Gotcha. <laughs> That's a big one. Because it's it's stuck because I tend to answer questions when I'm asked. I tend to get very specific in answering the question instead of like. And so so land went. So basically, what they did was they taught us methods for answering the question and giving the information they asked for without giving them more than what they need to give. Let me ask you this: since your training has been completed and you've gotten your certifications and you came back and got more certifications. I mean, you've been with us for like two years now, so that's pretty good. <laughs> so uh, let me ask, uh, what are your thoughts on the success that you've been experiencing? I mean, sounds like your job is uh, pretty awesome. You're doing a lot of cool things and in charge of a lot there. What are your thoughts on your success? Well, you know, I, I, I wouldn't, I got to tell you, I wouldn't have had it without this program. It's that simple. Um, because I would have, I wouldn't have known what route to take. I mean, I could have gotten back into the IT industry, and I right now I still would have been stuck with a book, probably studying for a CCNA two years later. Um, I, I a lot of the success came from learning. Um, you know what? Here's what I can say: Land Land gives you something. You if, you have to be a disciplined person to do Land Land's program, but when you come out of it, you're even more of a disciplined person. So normally I could be disciplined to study something on my own and no telling when that may get accomplished. But I could be I could study something on land when and it will have a definite completion date. So um, one of the things I contribute to my success is the discipline land when enhanced in me to when I, I focus on something is to give it all give it 110 percent if they're 100 percent and things can get done a lot faster awesome awesome very cool so let me ask you this i kind of want to go back to before you've been with us for two years um and and you came back <laughs> so um i'm sure you've heard or i've seen it in your own web search uh, i do know that there's one individual who's posted you know two sites up that call into question the legitimacy of the programs at Land One Professional or point fingers at Eric Choi and say he's, you know, scammer or evil or whatever. Um, you've been here twice over the course of two years. Uh, what are your th what are your thoughts on that? I mean, there's a lot of people who ask that question. Is there merit to this? You're you're a client. You tell me. What are your thoughts on, <laughs> on those blogs? You know what? And you know what? I read those blogs before coming here and how, I came to a conclusion. I figured out what was going on. It has nothing to do with Landwin Professional, and I say this to all of those who have put up negative websites and whatever. I'll tell I tell them this: that's your problem. It's something with you. It has nothing to do with Landwin Professional, because Landwin Professional puts it out there in black and white. Here it is. Here's how it's done. If you take this route, you will be successful. I think a lot of those negativity blogs, these individuals were looking for some type of expectation that just wasn't there. And, and basically what they did, they read more into it than what it said. Um, so to, to finish that off, an individual's success is on them. I mean, you can go into a, a math class and you can sit there all day. The teacher can tell you two plus two is four. But if you keep insisting it's five, what more can the teacher do? <laughs> you know, you're reading more into it than necessary. So, Land Wan gives you the tools and everything you need to be successful. It's up to you to apply it. So, these individuals at some point probably got frustrated because I was frustrated. You know what? I had my frustrations. But at the same time, I had to look in the mirror and who really was slowing me down. And if there was any time that I, I slowed down, it was me, it wasn't on Landwind. So let me tell you, uh, Jonathan, Eric, these guys have a interesting way of boosting your morale, but it works. 
<laughs> like I said, an interesting way of boosting your morale. Tell me, what is it? What has your experience with Eric Choi been like since uh, you've had some some encounters with him over the past two years? Tell me your thoughts on Eric and uh, even address uh, his person or his character. That would be excellent. Eric is a businessman. And who is it? Anytime you own a company, I mean, you're running a business. So there is a, there's, there's, there's a personality that business people have. Um, I think with Eric, and I, I hope when he watches this, he's, like, he's a wonderful guy. I love his personality. He's outgoing. He's bright. He's fun to talk with. But then there's that business side of him. And that business side is very focused, very driven. Um, as Eric is a person, very great guy, very business driven. Um, and he wants to be successful. But one of the things I can truly say is that in order for him to be successful, I have to be successful because I'm a product. I am a result of his product, which is Lamb One Professional. Let's kind of turn the corner here a little bit. How has going through Lamb One Professional and I mean, we've touched on the training and the, a little bit on the job placement and even Eric Choi you know, pushing people to become <laughs> the best that they can be. How have all those things impacted your life, both in the short and in the long term? In the short term, you know what? It's, it's, given, it's opened my eyes to, to not only the IT industry, but just the job marketing, you know, as a whole. I mean, I was hoping my children look for a job now, and I give them techniques that I learned there to, to help them be successful in, in, in at least getting a phone call. Um, I mean, just a simple tool that, to go back on that, was using just the simplest method I got from there, my phone rang off the hook every day. It's still ringing now. I have a job and I have to like turn it off because I still have people calling me for, for job off. So the, um, so the technique and skill that I learned on, on, on job hunting and looking for, for employment, or just to get the basic phone call, I gotta say it's probably the best short term thing I've ever gotten out of. Um, long term, um, long term going forward, even if I were not to be the creation, the company I'm at today, I know what it takes to get the next job. And um, and I know what it takes to be successful while I'm here at this job. And I am still studying for um, my CCIP and CCBP, and I have the discipline that I got from Landwind Professional to know how to go at it and, and be successful at getting it done in a short period of time. It's great that you can help your kids out. <laughs> so let me ask, uh, how do you feel that your experience uh, in Landwind Professional is very similar to the last question, but how has it made a change in your life beyond uh, the technical and professional level? How has it impacted you on a personal level coming through the program at Landwind? On a personal level, um, I gotta say it's it, you know it, it always I keep coming back to this. And I'm sorry if I'm repetitive, but I'm just more of a focused individual. Um, I'm when I no matter what I set out to do, I just go at it to get it done in a short period of time. <laughs> so it, it's interesting. I actually put myself on schedules now. It's like I actually plan out something, and I say, okay, I'm gonna do this. Here's what I plan on having it done. Basically, hey, time management. I guess that's how we could sum it up. It is managing my time and getting, and not wasting it. So getting something productive out of every minute, hour, and day. I know a lot of people that have come through camp, at least uh, recently and through the different programs, a lot of them have kept in contact some of them swapped emails or they're connected on LinkedIn or even on Facebook. Uh, they have their little mini communities. Uh, I don't know if you've kept in contact with anybody, or, but if you have and you're aware of their success stories, um, how, do, how has that impacted you? Are you aware of anybody else's situation? And, and uh, what are your thoughts on the success that they've uh, achieved? I, I am aware of, um, I, there was one young lady, I forgot her name right now, she's in Atlanta. She moved to Georgia. I've been informed uh, that she landed a network engineering position. And I'm really happy for her because when we were in class, she was just like really, uh, she was a really disciplined, focused individual. So I, I, I didn't, I couldn't understand, I would not understand her leaving and not being successful. Um, another one, uh, a guy named Novell, I talked to him 
matter of fact, I have to check my, I'm going to check my LinkedIn after I get off with you to see if he, he replied back. Me and him are in constant um, communication. He passed his CCNA and routing and switching. He got his other CCNAs while he was at camp. And he also has his CCNP troubleshoot. And um, he probably will have a position if he doesn't already have one. I know he was find up for a couple of good interviews when I last talked to him. Excellent, excellent. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to ruin your uh, your surprise, but a little bird told me that uh, he has something lined up. Tailing from there, um, we'll go back to that seems too good to be true uh, theme again. Um, a lot of times, I hear, and especially our candidates who have come through the program, once other people kind of hear how they've gotten to where they've gotten. Uh, the response is always the same. The success stories of people in Lamb and Professional is just too good to be true. Um, and you're one of those stories. I mean, look at you. I mean, <laughs> you're 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 working in a great job, you know, helping your kids out. You, you've had some personal change in your life as well. So when others hear of the success that you've experienced in such a short amount of time, like you said, it was four months for you. You know, you could have still been studying your Cisco book, right, two years later. How do you how do you explain that success to people? Because I tell people that believe it or not, man, I'm I'm, I'm your biggest cheerleader. Um, so I talked to a, a couple of my friends and some of the um, one of my friends tried to tell me what their son wants to do. He wants to get into the IT industry. So I kind of um, talked about Lynn Han a bit, and I, I told him about um, you could be successful at it. You just have to you just have to do. Do what you're asked to do, and you have to be disciplined. So you can't be like trying to, you know, work on your uh, networking, whatever man one has you doing, and play the Xbox at the same time. That's not going to work. You know, it has to be a straight shut everything off, focus on what you're doing, and you'll be successful at it. I mean, you kind of hit on my next question already, which was uh, if someone is. Considering Land One Professional, we, we have a lot of uh, candidates who apply. They're really considering about, is this program right for them, as we are evaluating them as well, saying, is this person right for our program? So if somebody, if somebody is, <laughs> that's, they don't realize, but that's actually the most important thing. We're, we're evaluating them. But uh, if someone is considering Land One Professional and they're still kind of on the fence, what would your advice be to them? My advice would be, like you said, I would turn the question around, are you right for that program? Um, and basically, I would tell them, you want to be sure. Before you get into it, number one, don't have any, any doubts. If you got any doubts, don't do it. it, it just know that you're going to do this. Um, I think for me, that was one of the things with me, because remember I told you I was skeptical at first. But once I cleared away and said, I'm going to do this, and I did it. If you, I, um, just so you know, I've been through the program. Um, we know that all people aren't perfect. We have had people go through the program, and I don't know if you're here, but not be successful. And I saw them not be successful from the first day I saw them when we got off the plane. Because when we got off the plane, they weren't sure. And I was like, dude, it's too late not to be sure. <laughs> Who needs to be sure you can do this? Um, because in the end, it's going to come down to you. Once again, land wind just gives you the tools. you got to use it. But if you're not confident that you're ready to do this program, then it's probably not for you. That is one of the best answers I've ever heard. That's great. Um, no, Demetrius, you answered all of my questions. Is there anything, I always like to give people an open mic time, so to speak. Is there anything that you would like to say uh, on the record? Well, basically, I like to thank Land One Professional for their time, patience, especially patience. It's a great program. It's one of the best programs I've ever seen, and nobody's come along with anything like this. For anybody thinking about doing this program, once again, be sure you want to do it. If you've got any doubts, it might not be for you, but be sure you ask all the questions you need to ask. You will get an answer. Um, so if you're going to do the program, make sure you have success in mind, discipline in mind, and hard work. Those are the three factors that are going to get you through it. 